Apple has just released the latest version of their M1 chip, the M1 Ultra. This chip is the successor to the M1 Max. In this video, we will be comparing the features and speed of the M1 Ultra chip, the latest Intel CPUs, and Nvidia GPUs. Apple has made this chip a beast in performance, and it has specs that exceed the performance from Intel's newest Alder Lake chips and the most powerful GPUs from Nvidia. The M1 chip is part of the Mac Studio, which starts at about 4000 USD. Apple's chip is a system on chip, or SOC, which means it includes a CPU and a GPU on a single die. This architecture allows the CPU and GPU to communicate with extremely low latency. Here's a comparison of the features of the M1 Ultra chip versus the Intel 12th Gen i9 processor and the Nvidia 3090 GPU. The M1 Ultra has 114 billion transistors, which is way more than the combined transistor count of the Intel Core i9 and the NVIDIA 3090. This translates to more processing power for almost similar sized chips. By the way, if you're enjoying this video, please consider hitting that like button and subscribing below. There are 20 CPU cores on the M1 Ultra versus 16 on the newest Intel Core i9 chip. More cores with the CPU allows programs and the operating system to utilize them for parallel processing. While the GPU cores on the M1 Ultra are less than the CUDA cores on the NVIDIA 3090, this cannot be used as a direct comparison for GPU performance. GPUs are used in gaming and machine learning tasks, and the NVIDIA 3090 is faster in machine learning because of its sensor cores. A real-world test would be by comparing them on gameplay, or using a benchmarking software. In Apple's testing, the new Mac Studio with M1 Ultra could play back up to 18 streams of 8K ProRes 422 video. The M1 Ultra and the Intel chip can both access 128GB of memory, but on the M1, this 128GB is shared between the CPU and GPU. Comparatively, the NVIDIA 3090 can utilize a maximum of 24GB of its VRAM. The memory bandwidth is the maximum speed at which data can be transferred from the CPU to memory and vice versa. This figure is at 800GB per second for the Apple chip, which is around 10 times more than the Intel chip. The NVIDIA GPU has a higher max supported bandwidth, but this is strictly memory for the GPU. Data transfer between the CPU and GPU is where the Apple's chip really shines, and this figure caps out at 2.5 terabytes per second. Apple has taken full advantage of the system on chip architecture and allowed both the CPU and GPU to access the maximum amount of memory at maximum speed. The Intel and NVIDIA chips have huge power requirements. Intel based i9 PCs with the NVIDIA 3090 require power supplies to the tune of 1000 watts and above. Meanwhile, the Mac Studio has a power requirement of only 350 watts. Remember, this is the combined peak power draw of both the CPU and GPU. Apple has exceeded the performance of both the Intel and NVIDIA chips combined. There is no need to overclock, just great software, hardware integration, and a powerful architecture. If you think there are other factors that determine the performance of this chip, please add them in the comments down below. Consider subscribing and watching our other videos.